Ve şöyle bir kaydı var. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'ne göre yaş 18'den önce bir kadın, bir çocukla, bir kızla, bir genç kızla ilişkiye girmek suç ise çok özür diliyorum. Gabora isminde bir kadın var. Macar asırlı bir Yahudi. Kendisi 1930'da Türkiye'ye geldiğini Mustafa Kemal Atatürk'le tanıştığını, 15 yaşındayken bekaretini, kızlığını ona verdiğini, onunla 5 sene kaldığını açık ve net olarak hem hatıratlarında hem de BBC'nin 91'de yaptığı röportajda anlatıyor. O, bu suçsa o suç değil midir kardeşlerim? E, o zaman bunu da konuşalım. Güçlüden yana konuşma ama zayıf ve mus, mustazaf olunca saldır babam saldır mantığı çok iğrenç bir düşüncedir ve bu İslam'a aykırıdır. O You write that your your your virginity was taken at age 14 by 15, 15 by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the great ruler of Turkey. How well, the hell did that happen? Well, I was married to a Turkish ambassador to Budapest when I was seven years old. He said to me, he knew my daddy or my grandmother, my mother, little girl, when you grow up, I'll marry you. And at 14, I became Miss America, and I was in school then in Lausanne, Switzerland. And when I came back at 15, I didn't want to do school anymore, so I called up, I said, Your Excellency, will you please marry me? I'm grown up now. So I talked him into it. In three days, he married me, took me to Turkey, where I was a hostess of from Papen, de Gaulle, all the biggest hmm. politicians of the time. And I was a child, 15, and I went to school in daytime in Turkey school and was horseback riding. And then one day Atatürk saw me in a restaurant. And yeah, we got together and, and I fall in love with him. He, I was just another 15 years old and he was 51, but I had a wonderful romance with him for six months until he died then.